everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. I'm here today to show you how I made the, the really adorable gift card holder that I shared on my blog today as part of the Creativity Abounds uh, blog hop. So I um, got the instructions off of a video that Rachel Tessman did um, in the US. And so she made it really easy to figure this out. It's a pop-up gift gift card holder. Um, and so I want to show you how I made mine. I've used the really adorable Santa Express uh, stamp set and designer series paper for my card. Uh, so I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope it'll make sense to you and I hope you'll make it yourself. Um, so let me switch over to my desktop and we'll get started. All right, so this is my version of this um, gift card holder. So our theme this month for the Creativity Abounds blog hop is gift packaging. And so who doesn't love a gift card holder or a gift card um, as that? So I've used a belly band. Um, Rachel used magnets, but this just is easier for me to create a belly band. So it opens like this and you can see that this really adorable little um, pop-up gift bag opens and you can put a little gift card holder into it and then the inside is decorated. So it isn't really that hard once you figure it out and hopefully this tutorial will help you because I certainly, it helped me to watch Rachel make this gift card or this bag um, and then uh, put it together. Okay, so let's get started and I will share what you need for your um, your bag, your box. I guess it's a bag. All right, so let me bring in my supplies here. I kind of got them all packaged um, and put together. Okay, so the first thing you need is a piece of cardstock. Get my stuff out of the way here. Um, I'm using, as I said, I'm using the really adorable Santa Express um, collection. And so I have kind of focused on this, this really cute um, designer series paper with the ho, ho, ho. So it's mint macaron. So the first thing that you need is a, your card base that is five and a half by nine. And we're going to score this, make sure I score at three and a quarter that out and seven and a half. So we're going to put this base together first and then we'll focus on the gift card. Okay, so three and a quarter and seven and a half. And then grab your bone folder and as always, so the the larger flap the, is going to be on the left hand side. So always fold into the mountain or the raised line uh, and just kind of fold that in on itself. And then this side will fold in, it will overlap a little bit. So by, I don't know, maybe half an inch or so. So it, it does overlap. Okay, so that's your card base. And then you need a piece of Poppy Parade in this case. So my piece of Poppy Parade is three and an eighth by five and three eighths. If you don't want to have this extra layer, you don't have to, but I kind of like the look of the extra layer to add some color. And then your designer series paper is three inches by five and a quarter. So I'm just gonna use my liquid glue and adhere my designer series paper to my Poppy Parade. Now, as I said, if you don't wanna add this extra layer, you, you don't have to. That's kind of why I used a belly band on this because by adding these extra layers, um, it is quite thick and the belly band holds it nicely closed. Okay, so then this piece, making sure that my ho 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 is the right way around. And it's just gonna go on the front like that. Oopsie, just shift it. There we go, okay. All right, so now I have got two pieces of Poppy Parade that are one and three eighths by five and three eighths and two pieces of designer series paper that are one and a quarter by five and a quarter. So we're gonna adhere these together. These are, oops, ah, I hate it when I do that, I get glue. So you're just really getting, again, a peekaboo of the Poppy Parade. I need to wipe that glue up. There's no doubt. 
I'm going to get it all over me and all over my project. There we go. All right. So these are going to go on that front and the front and the back of the front, this flap. So these are both the same size. Again, if you don't want the extra layers, you don't have to put them on both sides, but I kind of like the look of the decorated card on the inside. Okay, so this piece, again, making sure that you have the ho-ho-ho going the right way, like that. You could use different designer series paper if you wanted to switch it up on the front, um, or even on the inside for that matter, whatever you choose. Okay, so that's card base is really coming together quickly for this. Um, like I said, the card base isn't the, the part that is is uh, uh, hard. Uh, okay, so then I've got a piece of basic white that's three inches by five and a quarter that's going to go here. Uh, and I just, as Rachel did, used up the some of the designer series paper. This piece, um, I think, ended up being, uh, it's at half an inch. No, three quarters of an inch. This was just a, a piece that was cut off. Um, so we'll just kind of adhere that on the one side. Again, making sure I have the ho-ho going the right way. Otherwise it would be oh, 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 and I don't know that that's good. Um, all right, so then we're going to use uh, Poppy Parade. I'm just opening this. I've got a new Poppy Parade ink pad here, so it should be kind of juicy. All right, so we are going to use, this is the Santa's Delivery stamp set. That's all I'm using from this suite other than the designer series paper. Uh, I'm not, the only stamp I'm going to use is this one that says special delivery just for you. And even for the, the belly band, Oh, actually I'm using the, the little smoke stack as well for the front of the card, but I'm gonna cut my Santa for the front of the card out of designer series paper, because why not? It's so easy. So we're just gonna stamp special delivery for you in Poppy Parade. And then this piece can be adhered. My measurements all on my little cheat sheet. Okay, so then this just goes on this next kind of, a, up against this is the fold so just kind of just aligned not right up against that score line but maybe an eighth of an inch or so off okay so that's our card base so now let's start putting our uh, bag together now i'm going to use vellum um rachel used copy paper and the reason she used that was because it really helps to not have the bulk um, in this. So I thought vellum would be pretty on the inside of the card um, for the gift bag that pops up. So what you're going to do, grab your trimmer. Now I went ahead and I've got a template and hopefully this will be easy for you to see. So this piece of vellum or cardstock, whatever you're going to use, you could use designer series paper. It would be quite thin. It is cut four inches by 10 and a half inches. So I've already gone ahead and cut my vellum. So on the short side, so on going across the length of this, you are going to, let's get my glue out of the way. You're going to score this piece at half an inch. Now one thing, and I did it, but that's okay. I'm going to trim that off. Don't, if you're using vellum, don't press really hard. You will end up cutting it like I just did. So just lightly score. So at half an inch, one inch, five inches, five and a half inches, six inches, again, lightly. I was a little heavy handed on my first one, but that's okay. I You trim off some of these anyway. And then 10 inches. Okay, so I've got half an inch, one inch, five inches, five and a half, six, and 10. And then turn it 90 degrees. So you're gonna score down the long side and you're gonna score one side at, at half an inch. Again, gently, if you're using vellum or designer series paper, turn it 
around and score the other side at one inch. Okay. Now this seems to be the most complicated part, but I have to say once you've done it once, um, you, you will figure this out. Okay, so the top of your gift bag is the one inch score line. So if you look at mine, there is a score line. It's kind of hard to see right there. Um, and so that's the one inch score line. So now you want to take and cut these flaps or cut these pieces out like I have on here. So this is my top. So you're going to cut these two. So from the edge to the second score line along the one inch score line and then take that entire tab off. You can use your trimmer to do this if you want or like I've used is just my paper snips. And then we're going to take and cut this out. So this is the middle piece um, here. So we're going to again take these two. So from the score lines in the middle, both of them, down to the one inch mark and then trim along that one inch score line. So we're cutting a slot here. And we're going to do, actually I missed doing that. So on the bottom, we're going to do the same on the bottom, what we did here, except this is just the little half inch. So it's from the edge over to the second score line at one inch and cut that entire piece out and do the same here in the middle along those two score lines and then at the half inch mark all the way across to there. So now I've got um, slits cut there there and these two and then we're going to do the same over here we're going to cut this little square out at the half inch cut it out again there we go and then this one that's half an inch by one inch we're going to cut out as well okay so i've got mine cut matching so again you're cutting these four corners out along the score lines and then the middle bits along these the score lines that are half an inch apart in the middle. And when you want to, to put this together, so we're actually going to fold this. Um, and I will show you how to do that. But first, we're going to actually, well, we actually are going to score it or going to uh, fold it. So grab your bone folder. What we want to do is we're going to fold it in the middle at this. This is the six, no, sorry, the five and a half inch score line. So we're going to score it or fold it on that score line. Now, vellum doesn't fold as easily as as what designer series paper or cardstock will be. So I'm kind of pushing this a little bit harder. So I'm using my bone folder. So we're gonna fold that like that just together to start with. And I'll show you what we'll do in the, in the end. But we wanna fold it together in half. You're gonna have an extra slot, an extra flap on this side. But we wanna cut the two holes for the um for the gift ha the handles for our bag and so remember the top is the one inch um spot or the one inch flap so lay the the top towards the top grab your take your pick tool and what we're going to do is we're going to poke holes um roughly i'm going to use my measure my ruler so if you want to poke holes roughly at um say one inch from this so it would actually be one and a half inch but one inch from the the edge of what will be the box the box will be four inches so we're going to put our holes at one inch and about say half an inch down so you're going to poke all the way through both layers so one inch and three inches roughly doesn't have to be exact but i and take your piercing mat so that you don't poke holes so now i've got my holes in here we're going to open this up and I'm going to use twine. So this is the sweet sorbet uh, baker's twine that comes in the in color baker's twine pack. Um, and it goes really nicely, even though it's sweet sorbet, it goes really nicely with poppy parade. So I'm going to cut about four inches. So you need two pieces of your twine. You could use um uh, anything else if you just wanted to use white twine or linen thread or anything so I've got about four two pieces that are four inches long 
So I'm going to take and poke these two pieces. Take your take your pick tool and just poke that through. With twine, it's a little harder because it tends to split. So just kind of take your time and get the edge poke through. Pull it. Pull it. And then you're going to poke this other side through. Like that. Now, you can do a couple of things here. Um, we're going to have this um, pulled up so it's like a handle, but for the moment I've kind of got it pulled through so it doesn't pull away on me. Now we want to adhere this. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of Terran tape. You do want to remember that if you're using vellum like I have, um, your adhesive, whatever adhesive you use will be seen. So we're going to try and cover this up in a bit. Um, I'm going to use put a piece of designer series paper that will hopefully cover up my adhesive for the most part. So I'm going to put just a little bit of tear and tape right uh, below where these um, these the the handles come down or the this piece of thread um, twine comes down. So we're then going to pull this up because we just want just a little bit of this because we want it to be a handle. So I'm just going to take and pull it up so that all that's kind of stuck to my tear and tape adhesive on this side uh, is it's about I don't know a quarter of an inch so on the the um oh gosh I don't know why this there we go so when this handle pulls up you will have a handle um and then we're going to take another piece of tear and tape and this time I'm going to go right over the the whole piece and I'm not going to take the backing off that. That's just gonna hold that in place. So now we're gonna do the same on this side. Now this one, this is the side I poked through. So kind of take and poke your, the bits, kind of make the whole <laughs> vellum tends to uh, hold its shape a little bit more than, than a uh, designer series paper will. So you're gonna do exactly what we did on the other side. We're gonna poke our twine or linen thread or whatever it is you're using through this hole and pull. And again, I'm pulling the whole thing um, so that I've got the pieces here and it doesn't kind of go, I don't lose it. And again, a little piece of tear and tape. You can use your scissors on your tear and tape or you can just use your fingers like I did. Oops, I pulled the adhesive off with my finger. All right, so let's take just a little piece of tear and tape and both of these so that we can adhere them down. Use your take your pick tool or your the pointy end of your scissors to get that off, the backing off. Okay, now we're gonna pull this up. And again, I only want just about a quarter of an inch. I really just want to, to have it about the, the width of or the the length of the the tear and tape adhesive and make sure it's stuck down and then we will take and put the tear and tape over top of it again like that to hold it in place and not peel the back off okay so now we can take and start folding this box um bag gift bag down now i'm going to take and fold my one inch flap down on that one inch score line again i'm going to use my bone folder um, particularly because the vellum doesn't, um, because I was so gentle when I was scoring it, um, it just needs to definitely be burnished. Okay, so now while that's down, actually I can lift this off and we will take and adhere this down using this um, piece of tear and tape that I put down. All right, so let's make sure I got that, pull that off. And now that will hold that ribbon or that twine um, perfectly in there. Okay. So now you can see, hopefully, that we've got a gift bag with our handles. So now we can start actually adhering this together. Um, before we do that, I want to cover I don't know if you can see, but I can see the adhesive. So I cut uh, two pieces somewhere. I have another piece of, 
uh, I lost my other piece. Oh no, there it is. Okay, I cut two pieces of um, designer series paper that are, um, what did I cut it? Three and, th three and three quarters by half an inch. And I'm gonna use that just to cover over that tear and tape that you can see. Um, and I did this um, making sure that my, my ho 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 is going in the right direction. So I'm using liquid glue on this and I'm just gonna take and cover over um, right underneath my ribbon or my twine uh, and adhere that down. And that will cover up my, my tear and tape adhesive that, that I had on the back. So you won't actually see that making sure my ho 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 is going in the right direction. There we go. So I didn't put this the whole length um, because I didn't want that extra bulk. So it's just a little bit of designer series paper. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to accordion fold this middle section. So we're gonna fold, we're gonna make a valley and then two mountains like this. And when I get it folded on these score lines, um, I will use my bow and folder to burnish it and make sure that it's nicely folded. I did that one, so we'll do that one as well. So this is one side of our box. So you can see that I, hopefully you can see that I've got um, two mountains and a valley. And then this other side, we're gonna, this is the side we're going to adhere together. So we've got one flap there. We're gonna fold in. So you're gonna kind of make half of the shape you have. So you're gonna make a mountain and a valley for this piece. And again, I'm using my bone folder to get the vellum nicely folded. And I can bring it back out. Now this piece um, on the what is the right hand side now is going to take and adhere onto this middle, so down on this this outside flap. So this kind of closes our box like that. So I'm going to use some tear and tape just because it's stronger than liquid glue. This isn't going to show, at least not enough that I'm worried about. Um, so I'm not going to bother covering it up. This this will be the side of the box and on the inside of that flap. Okay, so now you can just take, and if you kind of pull your box apart, you can just kind of fold it flat and this will all adhere together nicely, she says, hopefully. All right, there we go. So now, of course, it didn't quite adhere. I'm going to just take and trim this excess off because I didn't get it quite lined up. But And that's because this vellum is misbehaving. So if you have uh, used designer series paper or basic white or something, your, your box, if you had done that flap flat, you would have been able to get it to nicely adhere. But of course, mine didn't behave. So we'll just... Okay, so now we got our box closed up like that. And now we can take and fold down on these half inch score lines. This is going to be the bottom of our box. So we want to take and put some tear and tape. And you probably, if you've done this before, you kind of folded your box all up um, and adhered it, it might have been easier. So we will just take and put our tear and tape one strip along this side and one strip along the other side. This is going to adhere to the inside of our card. So this is the last step. So we've got now got our gift bag that's gonna pop up, all adhered. So if I pull my card out. So what we wanna do is we want to adhere our bag. Okay. There we go. We want to adhere our bag. This is the one I have. Um, and we want to adhere it on either side of this score line. So if I bring my card in, so this is the, the score line for the side of the card. Um, and I, looks what I look what I did here. So I did it wrong with mine. So you actually want your, what did I do? You actually want this piece of basic white, um, to be adhered over on the right hand side. So I'm gonna to have to fix this um, 
after I finish the card. So kind of do it this way. So, so their piece of basic white for the inside of your card adhere to the right side and aligned up with this um, right hand flap, because now my gift card is going to actually cover that, but that's okay. Uh, I'll, so now take, take your to take your pick tool and take these pieces off without sticking it down quite yet. There we go. Okay, so this piece is going to get your bulk bag. So it doesn't adhere together. These flaps do not adhere over top of one another. These are side by side. So you want to adhere one. I'm just gonna stick that up like that for a minute so it doesn't stick down. So work with one at a time. And then you're going to take and line up this flap with the just to the just to the edge of your score line along your side of your card. And you can take and put your box down and align the other side um, to the other side, other edge of that that score line like that. Put your fingers in. And now when you close your box, you have your gift box bag in there that opens up and you've got the two little handles and you can put your gift card in. So again, those, those bottom flaps of your gift bag are adhered on either side of this left um, score line or the left side of your card. So when you open it up, um, you've got your bag that opens like that. Isn't that cute? Now, again, if you did this the way it should have been done, your piece of basic white would be aligned um, like this one will kind of go to the card the, the way it should be. Okay, so you can see that I didn't adhere this over top of the basic white. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you'll can figure that out. Like I said, once you've done this once, it really isn't hard. So now let's make a belly band. This is the belly band that I had on my card. Really easy to do. I cut a piece of base uh, poppy parade that is, um, what was it? All right, it is 11 and a half. So it's just the length of a standard piece of cardstock um, by one and a quarter. And then I cut a different piece of the designer series paper from the, this is the one with the candy canes and little trees on it. So this is 11 inches by one inch. So this is from that same Santa Express. I just thought I'd switch it up and use something different than the ho, ho, ho. And we're gonna adhere this to this piece, this poppy parade. Now, you could use magnets, um, which is what Rachel did, um, and you would put the magnets underneath the designer series paper on the front and side of the card. I don't actually have magnets, and I just find a belly band um, easier to do since I don't have the magnets. So you're going to take this. Now, I always wrap my belly band and have the seam on the front of my card. I can hide the seam. Um, using, which is what I did here, I hid my seam using my Santa in his train. And so I just take this, I don't score it, I find it just easier to just take it and gently wrap it around. Um, and part of the reason I do that is because you don't want this to be really tight on here. You want to be able to pull it on and off. And I find that if I score it at the exact measurements, it gets very tight. So I just take and gently wrap this around. And for this, because it's quite thick and it's holding um, holding quite a thick card together, I am gonna use tear and tape. You could use stamp and seal probably, but I'm gonna just put tear and tape. Now what you wanna make sure is when you put your tear and tape on, turn that on the inside, um, which I've done, but that's okay. I can I can cover that up with Santa. Um, so make sure your tear and tape doesn't um, go beyond the edge of um, the other flap that's going to uh, go over top of it. So you can either cover it up or you can take, if you've got an adhesive remover, an adhesive eraser, um, you can take and get that extra off if you did what I just did. All right, so let's get it on the card it actually belongs on. 
So we're going to put this around like this. Again, the seam on the front. Like that. I didn't do a very good job. Okay, I'm going to turn this over because I actually want the seam on the left-hand side because I want Santa's train to be on the, the left-hand side. So there we've got our belly band. Now, to make this get the Santa, I just took one of these great you can use a die if you've got the dies that come with the uh, santa express they will cut out these these shapes but i'm just going to take just because it i find it quick and easy while i'm on i just wanted to show you how easy it is to actually take and cut out the shapes from this designer series paper and there are lots of different ones so there's santa in his train there's also some um, train cars that you can cut out. Uh, there's these trees. So they make, it makes it so easy just to decorate your, your card um, using these cutout pieces. So if I actually cut some out and don't use them or I, uh, you can cut them out in advance, I just take them and put them into um, my the stamp case and that way I've got them um, hanging around all the time. So there, I'm going to cover up my, my seam with Santa. I'm going to use dimensionals. Again, I make sure you don't put dimensionals um, above and below because you don't want your belly band to stick to your card base or your, your decoration on your belly band to stick to your card base. So we'll just take and put Santa. And then the last thing I'm going to do is there is a stamp here with three, three, let me see, I've got some cutouts here in here. It just makes it really easy. So there is this, these three um, little puffs of smoke. So I'm going to use my tuxedo black. Again, there may be a die for this as well. Um, I'm going to just use my smoky slate. Um, this is just my marker. So you could use a, a, a what am I thinking? A, a stamp and blend if you want, but I'm just going to use the smoky slate, slate marker. I'm really just coloring these, or you could leave them white. And we're going to just cut these out, and I'm just really cutting kind of around these puffs of smoke, not worrying about getting real close to the edge with this. All right, and so I'm not sure how that goes, but I'm gonna make an assumption that it kind of goes that way. I don't know if that's the way I did it on my other belly band. No, I put it the other way, but I guess smoke stack, or puffs of smoke get blown, um, get blown backwards. So we'll, we'll do it backwards on this card. And I'm gonna put, I've got a big a regular size dimensional and then two of the mini dimensionals on the smaller puffs. There we go. And then this can go back like that. So I'm not using a sentiment on the front of my gift card because it's got the ho, ho, ho. But again, so easy for the belly band. And when you open it up, there's your little gift bag that you can put your gift card in. So I hope that made sense. I hope if you have any questions, um, you will, uh, you will post some underneath this video or on my blog or reach out to me, um, via email. If you have any questions, um, I'm happy to answer them. Hopefully I made it fairly clear and my blog will sh give you the instructions as well as I will uh, post the template so that you can see what that gift bag looks like and what the measurements are and how you cut the, the kind of the notches, uh, and the slits out of it. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button underneath this YouTube video so you subscribe to my, my YouTube uh, channel. And if you find your way over to my blog, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter so you keep up on all the news. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Hope you have a great day. Happy stamping. Bye.